students in this video i will start the next chapter that is biotechnology and its application so in the last chapter you we discussed about the different principles and processes that was related to biotechnology now this biotechnology as we have known from the definition there that the biotechnology it aims always aims to bring some kind of benefits or products to the human beings or to the mankind so there are vast scope and limitless boundary for its application to be used in our day to day life such so such a few type of applications in case of biotechnology are say for example the development of new or an effective drugs gene therapy which will lead to the replacement of many defective genes then tissue culture and organ culture so all these are present in their in the scope or applications of biotechnology but before starting the chapter let at first discuss about the critical research areas of biotechnology so in our book now so there are three critical research areas so research area in the sense that they will provide more scope if this three fields they are developed then it will provide more scope for the development of biotechnology in the near future and those three research areas are providing the best catalysts in the form of improved organisms usually a microbe or a pure enzyme so as you know that in biotechnology different kind of cells their cell products such as enzymes are used so in that way we have found that different types of restriction endonucleases vectors those things are used in the applic in the by in the genetic engineering process so therefore the main critical research areas is that the to provide the best catalyst so that the improved organisms they can be provided with more with, uh, with more benefits to the mankind then comes the second research area that is creating optimal conditions through engineering for a catalyst to act so this is again another important uh, scope or for the research uh, scope for the different applications in case of biotechnology where mean uh, where a optimal condition for the growth of these living organisms or the cells that must be provided and therefore creating such optical optimal condition that is a must and the next comes the downstreaming processing uh, technologies so as you know that after the whole process of genetic engineering the main task comes in the downstreaming processing downstream processing that is when filtering the product and going through different test processes so there are many defects are found so in that so different technologies must be adapted to purify the proteins or the organic compounds that we want to obtain after the genetic engineering processes so these are the three critical areas where the resources are still going on for the process or for applying biotechnology in our day to day life now let us discuss about the main part of this chapter that is biotechnological applications in agriculture so bi biotechnology uh, the agriculture as a whole today is based on three approaches so mainly the agriculture based on agrochemicals such as chemical fertilizer pesticides herbicides then comes agriculture based on organic inputs such as manure biofertilizer biocontrolling agent then thirdly comes the agriculture based on genetically modified crops so this is one of the most challenging the third approach that has become the most challenging of all the other approaches that took place earlier 
so as you already know about a revolution which is named as green revolution so this green revolution it was started by norman barlog and in india it was started by ms swami nathan during the years of 1960s 70s so in that uh, the hybridization techniques created an impact in a culture that lead to high yielding varieties of major crop plants and that revolutionized our agricultural system and this whole agricultural revolution it was called as green revolution and in india and in india uh, swam m s swaminathan he is regarded as the father of green revolution so in that way there were improved varieties of crops or improve yielding of crops and its management practices but now the development of genetically modified organisms that is that has become the latest tool in the hands of the agriculturist for increasing the crop yield and to overcome many of the challenges that the agriculturist face or the farmers face during the agricultural process so let's discuss about the genetically modified organisms which are result of the genetic engineering processes so what is genetically modified organism so the plants animals fungi and microorganisms which have been altered by manipulation of their genes instead of conventional breeding are called as genetically modified organism yaad hai kya jee bilak plants animals fungi by microorganisms bilak aur upar genetic engineering kori তাহাঁতর জিনসবাক মেনিপুলেট করা হয় যেটা ডিজায়ার জিনসবাক বেলে একটা হোস্ট অর্গানিজমের আনি যেটা একটা হোস্ট অর্গানিজম দিয়া হয় আপার্ট ফ্রম দ্য কনভেনশনাল ব্রিডিং মেথডস সো তোমালে ব্রিডিং মেথডসবিল কথা নয় জানা যে আগে কেন করেছিল সিলেকশন মেথড আসে তারপর বেলে বেলে ধরনের তেনকা কিছু মেথড এপ্লাই করেছিল প্লেন ব্রিডিং আর এটা সেইবিল একবারতে সলভ করবা যায় বাই জাস্ট মেনিপুলেটিং দেয়ার জিনস এন্ড এন্ড ব্রিঙ্গিং দ্য গুড জিনস ইন টু দ্য প্লেন্স অর এনিমেলস ফানজাই অর এনি কাইন্ড অফ মাইক্রো অর্গানিজমস ইট ইস এন্ড সাচ টাইপ অফ অর্গানিজমস দে আর কল দ্য জেনেটিকালি মডিফাইড অর্গানিজমস না লেটস কম টু আনাদার টার্মিনোলজি দ্যাট ইস কল এস দ্য ট্রান্স জিন দ্য জিন ট্রান্সফার্ড to another organism artificially by the technique of genetic engineering is called as the transgene etia transgene word to like you i so karon ami etia next at a word ba then ukwa kisman terms from jene ke transgenic plants but transgenic animals at a transgene mane ki hoy transgene mane hoyse jetia eta gene transfer kori pina ana hoy ji kono beleg organism sobra hetu eta bacteria ho pare hetu eta plant ho pare ba animal ho pare so such kind of genes ji bilak genetic engineering kori eta belag eta organism di diya hoy he bilak oke ami ko transgene buri and hence the word transgenic plants and transgenic animals come and transgenic plants or animals will be the organism having genes of another organism through the technique of genetic engineering those are called as transgenic plants but transgenic animals or transgenic bacteria etc okay now let's come to the main part of the chapter so that is the genetically modified crops now what are the advantages of genetically modified crops over the conventional breeding crops the first thing is that the crops are more tolerant to abiotic stretches such as cold drought salt and heat say for example as you know that the crops they undergo many tolerant situations say for example kisuman plants coldot beshi coldot thakibologiya hoy ba ketia ba kisuman ki hoy drought fresh face koribologiya hoy ba kisuman ketia ba hoy je floodot tahati thakibologiya hoy to floodot tahati jetia ase suppose jodi beshi water jodi thake tetia ki hoy jay mori thake ba beshi salt resistant hobo nware flood resistant hobo nware drought resistant hobo nware so tenukonis na plants bilak kok ami tahatok tolerant ami no hoy banabo paru through the use of genetically modified organism so such uh, tolerant tolerant varieties 
will be obtained just by the exchange of the genes from the desired organisms. Third episode, I will learn next to reduce reliance on chemical pesticides. So reduce reliance on chemical pesticides. Man, it is suppose to all get to know how it is. Plants by plants, जी भी लगा सके, crop plants जी भी लगा सके, तब तात की माना की बात होना है, बीमार किस्म में हो बोले थोड़े, आइडर ये तो bacterial disease किस्म में होए, बा fungal disease किस्म में होए, बात तात किस्म में paste by insects भी लगे, तात आही पीने attack करे ही, so in that through genetic engineering, the chemical pesticides it can be eliminated, माने less use chemical pesticides भी लगो, less use कोडी, तात तो अमी केमिकल पेस्टिसाइड्स में एक बार यूज न करी पीने तां तो कमी कहने के डिजीज रेजिस्टेंट बा पेस्ट रेजिस्टेंट बना बो पड़ो सो तेने के वो की करी बो पड़ा जाए बाय टेक्नोलॉजी यूज करी बो पड़ा जाए इन एग्रीकल्चर तब इस तरह हिले हेल्प इन रिड्यूस पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट लॉसेस सो ये तो तुम्हारे के ना है ये तो देखा जब कितने बार की हो है हमारे घर वाले में बस तू बिलक अनु से सपोज ये तो टमेटो टमेटो तो ना है अनु तो ते ने ओह वन दिनों प्रस्तुत की हो जाए तो मेरे तो अमी खुआ आगो ते पोखी पीने तो ना हो बेअ हो जाए तो ते ने के जी बिलक इतिहास फार्मर्स असे तो है फार्मर्स बिलक के ते नु का निश्चित पोस्ट हार्बिस लॉसेस बहुत ते लोग के तो बियर को रिबलो किया है माने इतिहास कारण रैपिंग धोलो आगो ते हो जाए पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट लॉसेस बिल्कुल को ओवरकम कर दिया पड़ा जाए बो जो दी बाय टेक्नोलॉजी एक आजरोट यूज़ करा है तब इस तरह हिले इंक्रीज एफिशिएंसी ऑफ मिनरल यूसेस बाय प्लांट्स सो दिस प्रिवेंट्स आली एक्सोशन ऑफ फर्टिलिटी ऑफ सोयल तो बहुत है नुका प्लांट्स ऐसे जी बिल्कुल की करे ताहती रिलेटिव्स मतलब प्लांट रिलेटिव्स जिकनी एक एक हिन्दी सोयलों तेज़ है कि तो ताहते ताहतों को यूज़ करें वो कहीं नहीं दिए तो जेह तो इतने ने के की होए एक हिन्दी प्लांट्स से सफर करें बोलोगे या होए तो इतने नुक्वा इतिहा वैरायटीज बनवा होए से जो तो की होए जो पर प्लांटे ताहती जाते हमारे माउंट ऑफ मिनरल्स यूज़ कर भी पड़े प्लांट्स और पड़ा अरु जो जो पड़ा फर्टिलिटी सोयल जी तो फर्टिलिटी है से हेतु नष्टन हो है तो ते नुका निश्चित प्लांट्स भी लाखों ग्रो कर भी पड़ा जाए बाय यूजिंग बाय टेक्नोलॉजी इन एवरी कल्चर अरु तब से तहिले ऐता खूबे इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ओ डेट इस उ इन एनहेंसिंग डी न्यूट्रिशनल वैल्यू ऑफ़ फ़ूड, सो तेरे के की कोरा होए, जे अमर इतने किस्मन फ़ूड्स असे जो की होए न्यूट्रिशनल वैल्यू भी लग कम्पटी होए आही थके, बा according to the soil condition or according to the climatic condition ताहती है न्यूट्रिएंट्स भी लग डेवलप कोरी बोन वाडे मेटाबॉलिकली, तो तेरे के अमी इतने विथ जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग और विथ द यूज ऑफ बाय टेक्नोलॉजी तेरे को � बना बो पारो अब याद रहता है तेरे को याद है एग्जांपल दिसे हेतु है से गोल्डन राइस सो गोल्डन राइस हेतु याद है राइस वैरायटी होय जो विटामिन ए स्पेशली विटामिन ए एंड रिच राइस होय सो हेतु जाना तुम लोग क्या जे राइस और जिकोन एल्युरोन जिकोन लेयर आसे हे एल्युरोन लेयर खोनोत तद विट विटामिन ए डेफिशिएंट हुआ देखा जाए और विटामिन ए डेफिशिएंट होले अमी किस्मन बेमारोट अमी डेफिशिएंसी डिजोर्डर्स बट डेफिशिएंसी डिजीज़ेस जो अमी मने सफर कोडी बोलोगया होए सो ते नुकान इस ना न्यूट्रिशनल वैल्यू थोका फूडो बना बो पड़ा जाए विथ बायो टेक्नोलॉजी सो ते नुका हेतु है से पेस्ट रेजिस्टेंट और बहुत एग्जांपल है से तो ऐता है से बीटी कॉटन हेतु ऐता इम्पोर्टेंट ऐता पेस्ट रेजिस्टेंट वैरायटी बनवा है से विद द हेल्प ऑफ बायो टेक्नोलॉजी सो लेट्स स्टडी अबाउट बीटी कॉटन नाउ नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस वन सच ट्रांसजेनिक प्लांट एंड दिस इस कॉल्ड एस � Bt produces a gene which is called as cry gene and this gene synthesizes an endotoxic protein which is called as cry protein that means cry gene 
produces a toxin and this toxin it is capable of killing larva of certain insects such as the lipid lepidopterans then comes the wallworms nematodes etc and as the toxic cry protein are obtained from bacillus thuringiensis so they are called as bt toxin gene the bt gene have been introduced to cotton plants because these plants are attacked by bollworm the transgene containing cotton plant is called as bt cotton and this bt cotton produces a protoxin in the cotton plant which remains in inactive and crystalline state so this gene which is normally present in the bacillus thuringiensis that produces this endotoxin called as the cry protein so this was genetically engineered and it was brought from bacillus thuringiensis bacteria to the cotton plant and such type of cotton plants they are called as bt cotton similarly such other plants are also there such as bt corn that means in the corn plant that bt gene it was implanted through genetic engineering of bt brinjal etc so this cry 1 ac the name of the protein that is called uh, the name of the gene that is called as cry 1 ac it produces a protoxin that means it, it remains in an in active state and and in the crystalline state now what happens when an insect feeds over the plant the inactive protoxin crystals pass into the gut and solubilize the crystals and converts protoxin into toxin in the insect body the toxin causes lysis of cells and the insect dies so in that way the bacillus thuringiensis gene when implanted or when genetically engineered and brought to the cotton plant it killed the insects such as the bollworms for and act as the insect resistant re resistant rather than using any kind of pesticide so the gene itself it produces which was already there in the plant so it itself produced the toxin but in the cotton plant that remains in an inactive state and when the insect it feeds upon the plant or it when it comes to attack on the plant then that protoxin that means the toxin which is in the inactive state that goes into the insect body and there in their gut that means in their elementary canal it gets solubilized and it converts the protoxin into toxin and in that way the toxin causes the lysis of their cells there in the gut and other parts of the body and the insect finally dies so this is uh, one for the cotton plant similarly for corn there are some other genes such as it is cry 1 ab so for different such a type of plants different such genes can be obtained from bacillus thuringiensis and they are specific over some plants and in that way we find the disease resistant plant so similar other examples are also there for transgenes so let's discuss one more pest resistant plant and here this is about the tobacco plant so as you know that the tobacco plant they are attacked by a nematode called as melio meloe digain incognitia and it causes infection of the roots of the tobacco plant now there are two approaches to control the pathogen so one approach is that the cellular defense process that exists in a plant is utilized so that is already present in the plant and in this the rna interference which is called as the rnai stops the mrna from translating by allowing binding of a complementary double stranded rna on the site and the source of this complementary double stranded rna may be from rna virus and the, that infects the plants 
Now what is done here that using agrobacterium vector as you know that in case of plant cells the Thai plasmid that is used which is obtained from the bacteria agrobacterium it pushes a gene into plants infected by nematodes and the DNA containing the specific gene produces both sense and antisense stand antisense RNA in the host cell and these two RNAs are complementary to each other and therefore initiates the RNA interference which silences the specific mRNA and thus interfere the host pathogen interaction and the pathogen cannot survive in such transgenic plant and the plant is eukaryotic and the bacterium is prokaryotic so in that way also the uh, organism which bears genes of other organisms is a result of the genetic manipulation and in that way here also the same is done just like the other case that is the Bt cotton so here the nematode that came to infect the tobacco plant so in the tobacco plant the RNA interference gene that is already present RNA specific interference gene so here a complementary double stranded DNA it is uh, pushed into the host genome and that complementary RNA it is bought from the RNA viruses and that is pushed to the host plant body with the help of vector where it produces both the sense and antisense organ which the nematode could not uh, could not attack because of the presence of the RNA interference gene which silenced the mRNA specific mRNA that produces the toxin and in that way the interference of the host pathogen interaction cannot take place so in this way we get the different types of transgenic plants by using biotechnology so similarly in that way the golden rice which is also a transgenic variety used for enriching the nutritional value so that can be obtained by implanting the vitamin A producing gene similarly the flavor saver tomato so that is also another transgenic tomato or plant where a particular enzyme is uh, blocked which is responsible for softening the fruits and it prevents from post harvest losses so this is all about the application of biotechnology in agriculture that how these transgenes which are brought from different organisms they could help in uh, saving a plant from different types of uh, diseases or it can enrich a plant with the new values.